Hey guys, welcome to a hot summer evening and we're looking at uh, Dell Inspiron of some model. I don't know what it is because the stick is missing. I wonder if it's hiding under the this little keyboard cover here. Uh, I don't see anything. There's no sticker underneath it. But uh, anywho, when we plug it in, we've got no lights up on here and we've got no response to the power button so uh, only one thing to do now <clears throat> well I just took this out and I thought that's funny it feels a bit warm and when I touch the metal ring it's actually quite uh, quite hot so uh, definitely some indication that all is not well I'm picking it's probably just the DC in jack that's gone bad because if it was a, a bad enough short inside, it would be making the charger shut down and not feed it. Uh, unless it's a partial short or fault, in which case it could be dumping a lot of power through that and uh, getting the plug hot. But uh, uh, back to what we were doing. So now we've done that thing, we can have a bit of a better look. Uh, she's pretty dusty, so I've given it a bit of a clean. And uh, there's a lot more fluff under here by the fan. Uh, by the, the wads that I was pulling out of the fan suggest that, so there's going to be a lot more to clean up there. But uh, the DC in uh, comes into a little board that's hiding down in the corner there. And uh, it can be easy to see. Right down in the back. There you go. It's got a little uh, little uh, eight pin device on there. So we need to uh, have a look in that direction. Uh, we're going to have to take the board out. So it's just two screws on each hinge and it does uh, come up without any uh, further effort. Uh, I've got the Wi-Fi connectors here and uh, the screen connector itself. I'm wondering this, oh yeah, this uh, plastic here will have to pop off I think. Give us a bit more access over the back and a bit more vacuuming too. Well my camera keeps crashing so I'm losing footage left, right and centre. Suffice to say the board is out. I'm sure you can figure out how to take it out. It's not rocket science. Um, but that's different. They've got the hard drive fixed to the bottom of the main board. I've never seen that before. And there's no access hole in the bottom of the case to change it out, that's quite interesting. So here's the DC in board uh, and I'll, I think I'll just plug it back onto the motherboard, plug the charger in and see what happens. It may not do a lot because there's no battery to try and charge, we might have to just bodgy that up as well, but uh, should give us a bit of direction. On second thought, let's simplify this. What if we just plug straight into this board without the main board attached, see what happens. Okay, so remember this was getting quite warm, so I wonder if something else is getting warm. Oh wow, that is hot! But that's interesting, why would that MOSFET, is that a MOSFET package? Get the power off it so we don't destroy it. Um, what is that package? Yeah, that's a MOSFET package. All of one side are connected together, three of the other are connected, and one is on its own, which would be the gate. But they don't put MOSFETs between uh, positive and negative. So the only way that could be getting hot is if there's a short after the fact. I tell you what, just with the naked eye, this capacitor here looks discoloured. So check that out. Where is my pointy device? There we go. Yep, you can see that pretty clearly. That is fractured. There's a piece missing here. There's like a hole there. And you can see the discoloration. So across the top here is the normal brown color it would have been. And then down around here 
is uh, it's gone a lighter brown after the fracturing. Dead short, and I'm not going to look at anything else because that's physically damaged. That's going to be our uh, culprit. We've got two little ones down here. I don't think they're going to be anything. And then some other stuff over there for the VGA port. Apparently, this was a very common problem on this range of Dell where they had the separate board like this. We are working near a uh, plastic connector. We don't want to melt the plastic connector. Let's get a bit more range on that. So if, if we're going to use hot air we don't want to melt that connector in the process. So if I add some uh, normal solder to this, flood it, then it uh, has a better chance of um, coming off at a lower temperature. There's not a lot of thermal mass in this board anyway, so it's going to be relatively easy to remove. It's not going to be so bad it's welded itself to the board or anything silly. And I won't, um, won't get right on top of it, pointing the nozzle away from the plastic connector, so directly at the USB port. <laughs> Let's go for somewhere in the middle and uh, just sort of gently get that liquid that's already going. There we go. But I do have a couple of my main boards kicking around and uh, since every laptop pretty much runs on 19 volts it's going to be acceptable to pinch something off one of the others because this is our 19 volt input so that's all it has to be is 19 volts. A bit dirty isn't it? Here we go. So here's uh, something that looks big enough. <laughs> We park that there, that will definitely fit the gap, but what is it? You can't just put any old cap in, if it's not rated for 19 volts or greater, she'll explode. So this is an Acer, Acer Aspire 5542 or uh, JV50-TR is the motherboard that I'm looking at. And this is C13, 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 over on the right here, is uh, 10 microfarad, 25 volt. That is just fine. I don't think it would have been much over 10 mic anyway. So I'm going to pinch that one, put it on the board, and we'll see what happens. So we might need a bit more hot air than we had before since it's attached to a larger PCB. I find in the hotter weather I always have to uh, retract my uh, flux back up the syringe as it gets a lot uh, a lot more liquidy and uh, seeps out of the end
or board could do with a bit of a wash really now back to our continuity test uh, I think yep positive on the right and we are at yeah we're up around seven meg ohms it's jumped up to seven meg and slowly coming down that is good as done let's plug our charger into it and just sort of see I'm sure nothing or nothing nasty will happen it's interesting though I guess the MOSFET was creating a uh, low enough resistance well high enough resistance such that it wasn't appearing as a dead short if that cap was on the input side then the charger would have shut down and it never would have been allowed to get hot to start with so what have we got going there it is not hot because it was hot right away so that's a good sign and just because we can let's see what voltage is across that cap Cable's just dragging it off the table, and yeah, 19 and a half. We'll go start Windows normally, shall we? Looks like the keyboard's working. <laughs> ah well, can't win them all. Windows activation, but it works. That's the main thing. Thanks for watching once again. Hope it helps you with any of uh, the older Inspiron problems that you might be having. And uh, catch you in the next one.